If you plan on going shopping in about an hour or in the morning for that matter, you may notice somewhat smaller crowds out there. Black Friday is no longer the busiest shopping day of the year, especially since the National Retail Federation says more than half of Americans already started buying gifts. Plus, analysts forecasting Monday will be the busiest shopping day of the year online. Americans are expected to spend $6.6 .6 billion on Cyber Monday compared to $5 billion online for Black Friday. Black Friday is certainly not dead. It is definitely changing. Different stores offering different promotions in store than they are online. And here's the thing, the change may benefit shoppers instead of one day of those door busters and deals. You can expect deep discounts in store and online throughout the weekend. Also happening right now, hundreds of shoppers shopping at stores across Tampa Bay. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomone talking to some of those shoppers tonight, getting a jump start on their holiday shopping. Are you with somebody? More than four hours after Best Buy first opened at five tonight, dozens still waiting their turn to shop. I was a little bit surprised, but I think it's more about them controlling the crowds. Newlyweds from Jacksonville told us they're looking to buy a TV, Best Buy, their second stop tonight. Do you really need another one though? We don't, but we want one. <laughs> um, it's Black Friday. No one needs anything. Inside the store, sale prices hours before Black Friday arrives. Shoppers grabbing kitchen appliances, televisions, and DVDs. Xbox One for $189, uh, 55 inch 4K TV for $279, gaming for the kids, uh, Apple Watch is on, on sale. Good deals. One shopper tells me it's a tradition shopping with her sisters and mom in matching t-shirts. I think it's fun. There's a lot of energy. It's the start to the Christmas season, so it's just fun. People are usually in a good mood. 